Hey, what's going on, you guys? Thanks for tuning in to Christopher's Couch. I am Christopher, head Central City detective. Not really a detective. And today I am going to be reviewing The Flash Season 3, Episode 2, Paradox. Before I begin with this episode, definitely a good episode. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm already going to give it two thumbs up. Uh, so where do I want to start? I guess I'll start with the beginning. Uh, in the beginning, you hear, you see that Barry has traveled to Starling City to uh, converse with Felicity. Beautiful smoke. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. And he's pretty much telling her what's going on and what he's done, that he's changed the timeline and that he's come back. Um, he went back in time to fix what he already had messed up, but things have still changed. And she's um, she pretty much tells him that he needs to go fix it. And then at the same time, she also wonder, with him changing his timeline, does it affect uh, Arrow's universe or whatever? <laughs> In which you find out that it does. Uh, he gets on the computer and you see he uh, he notices Diggle and notices that Diggle has a kid. But in his timeline, and which is the timeline that we all know, is that Diggle actually had a daughter named Sarah. But in this timeline, he doesn't have a girl. He has a boy. Uh, so big ups to Diggle. Uh, if you weren't excited about having a girl, you got a boy now. So that's good. Um, so the Flash goes and he tries to fix it. And how does he try to fix this issue? <laughs> By pretty much trying to uh, get everybody together. He doesn't try and fix it the way he should, which would be, you know, to tell everybody the truth. But instead, he tries to avoid it by just trying to fix it on his own and like different people's issues. Like what's um, Iris and her dad's issue? What's... Um, Cisco Ramon's issue with him and stuff like that. He, he kind of beats around the bush <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, beats around the bush to try and figure out just what's going on instead of just telling them the truth. Um, also in this episode you see that you see that Edward Clarence who is the rival <laughs> He's um he ends up fighting alchemy. He ends up finding alchemy, and it seems like alchemy has the ability to bring out the potential or the power that people have had. I mean that's the way I see it. Um, Clarence didn't have powers, but then after meeting alchemy, he he has his memory back and he has his power back. Um, going back to the Flash, you know he has this dinner with everybody and um, with all his teammates all together and. They kind of discuss, like, they want to figure out, well, he wants to try and figure out what's going on. So, you find out that the reason uh, Cisco isn't being himself, which I hate this version of Cisco. Like, this this version of him is like, man, I want the old, hilarious, funny, goofy uh, Cisco back with that awesome personality. I need him back. So, this version of Cisco is super mad at Barry because... Uh, his brother died in a car crash in a car accident and this whole like this whole time that he's been dead Cisco has pretty much been asking Barry to break the one rule which is go back in time to change someone's death and stuff like that he he wants him to go back and break that rule and go save his brother from dying which he says that Barry has been declining <laughs> and so that's his problem with the problem with iris and joe is that uh joe didn't tell iris that his that her mom was still alive so that's that's their little thing which i, I feel like that's actually small time uh cisco's problem is bigger in my opinion i mean you have a family member that died uh and you have someone who could go back and change that but they won't but for iris and joe that's that's petty your mom is he didn't tell you that your mom was alive that's that's pretty stupid. I mean, she's alive. You should be grateful, happy, not mad at somebody or whatever. So, um, 
that's what their problems are. That's that's what their problems are. Uh, also, in this episode, you find out that Barry has a new partner on the job, a new roommate uh, at the office, go by the name of Julian, which is that guy that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't watch Harry Potter all the way through, but I know when I first started watching it, he was Malfoy, the bad guy, or some shit like that. Um, so big ups, cause I haven't seen him in anything uh, other than like the first few Harry Potter movies that I did watch. So it's good to say that he's still working. Uh, he's definitely a douche on this show though. Like hating on my boy Barry, like come on son, you can't hate on the Flash, man. You can't be mad at the Flash. You can't treat the Flash like that. That boy go be back boy. Can't be mad at him. I ought to arrest your ass for that. But um, yeah, so he has that partner and they, he pretty much doesn't like Barry, and according to everybody, Barry doesn't like him. But you know, this is this is the um, Barry. This is the different version of Barry. So, well, it's the same Barry, but you get what I'm saying. So he doesn't f fully understand why that guy doesn't like him or why they say he Barry doesn't like him. But uh, it's whatever. <laughs> but they have to work together because apparently there are these husks that they're finding. Uh, around the city <clears throat> that hosted a human's body so they're trying to figure out who um, or what the husks are coming from and they actually find out that one of the husks that they find is the rival's husk so they later on find out that uh, which I'm jumping ahead but they later on find out that <clears throat> like I said the uh, al that alchemy can um, give people back well, it seems like the alchemy can give people back their powers that they had or something like that, which is what happened to, um, which is what happened to Edward Clarence. So pretty much they found like four husks, which means there are three more people that the alchemy, that alchemy has given back their powers, I guess from the other, um, from the Flashpoint universe. <laughs> Well, from the Flashpoint timeline. So there's three more people that in this present timeline didn't have powers, but now they do because they have powers in Flashpoint timeline. So other than that, we uh, go back to the Flash and he pretty much, when his first plan doesn't work to uh, try and figure out what's wrong with everybody, when that plan doesn't work and what he does is he tries to go back in back into the speed force to change time again but he get pulled out from by jay garrett who um pretty much teaches him a lesson about you know uh, rewinding time or going back in time and just teach him a lesson letting him know i mean you can't do it, it i mean i'm a speed he's pretty much saying i'm a speedster too everything you've done i've tried in the past i've done in the past there are action there are things that happened that uh i couldn't handle that i pretty much went back in time to try and fix and stuff like that but i learned my lesson and i want you to learn your lesson too that once something happens it's done and if you go back in time you might change something you might fix that problem but you'll cause a whole bunch of more problems uh, just a whole bunch so uh pretty much teaching that boy a lesson teaches him a lesson he comes back and he pretty much does what he should have did at the beginning which was tell everybody the truth and so he gets everybody in the room and he tell everybody basically hey um i messed up the timeline i went back in time i was selfish i went back to save my mom because you know i couldn't deal with my dad's death and zoom and stuff like that so i went back i was selfish and now all of your lives are fucked up because of my selfishness and that pretty much that really got to cisco because you know cisco once again was basically saying this whole time i wanted you to save my family member but oh you couldn't do that but you could go back in time and save your own so that's real messed up um and which is which is pretty much true that was selfish of you flash very very selfish of you barry but whatever you're the hero you're the one with the powers and so um he pretty much tells everybody basically he can't fix he can't fix it at all they're just gonna have to live with it and if they want to know what has changed um uh, from the previous timeline to this one then he'll be happy to tell them uh just let him know um and yeah 
besides that, uh, later on, we get where the rival is actually going to fight the Flash. And you find out that the rival, he has all, like I said, he has all his memory. He remembers everything and stuff like that. And they're fighting. And I don't, well, actually, they start, like, running around. And I'm just, the whole time I'm thinking, like, I feel like Barry, like I said, I feel like Barry, due to all that has happened to him since the first season, I feel like this dude's speed should be way past anybody's up at this point. It's like, you come up against another speedster, you should be, like, blowing them out the water with your speed because you've been through so much. You have all this experience. So you should easily be whooping this guy. But it seems like he's having a hard time. And then it, it gets to the point where he actually is winning. But then, um, you, then, you know, alchemy comes out of nowhere and start blasting him with some type of, uh, orb and some blue energy. I really don't know what that is or that orb or what it does or whatever. But it seemed to immobilize the Flash at least to the point where he was definitely about to get his ass killed. He was about to be swimming with the fishes. They was going to have to put me on that case. Put me on the case. The Detective Christopher for Central City Police. Central City Police Detective. Badge number 5936. Anyways. But, um, yeah. So he was about to actually be swimming with the fishes. And then your boy Cisco. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Gotta call him by his alias. That boy Vibe comes out of nowhere with some Vibe and shit. You get a little quick little tag team. Uh, you get a quick little WWE tag team of the Flash and Cisco versus the rival. And they definitely whooped the fuck out of him. And so um, after beating him, pretty much um, they take him, Flash takes him to Iron Heights. And you pretty much just got everybody coming back together now. I mean, uh, Cisco is somewhat coming back. He actually names Alchemy, Dr. Alchemy. And that was one thing, like in this, at the beginning of this episode, when um, Barry stops a criminal, he he's like, hey, so who wants to name him? You know, Cisco, that's your job. But Cisco is all like the Cisco that I don't like at all. Don't like this Cisco. We need the goofy Cisco, the funny Cisco, the charismatic Cisco back. We need him back ASAP. And I can see him coming back a little bit, just not fast enough. But um, he ends up naming this villain. <laughs> Dr. Alchemy. So that's his name. I'm gonna have to Google Dr. Alchemy and see what he's all about. So, and Iris and Joe, they're pretty much talking and hanging out again. So it's all good. And um, pretty much towards the end, Barry, everyone's leaving. And Barry is just like, um, he's talking to, um, he's talking to um, Caitlin Snow. And he's just like, man, you're pretty much the only person that that the timeline really hasn't changed or anything like that. And then he walks away, and when he walks away, she like looks at her hand, and you must see, um, like, like her hand is starting to freeze and shit, because you already know what who she's supposed to be. So you see her hand kind of freezing and shit, and pretty much. So yeah, she's definitely changed. She's definitely changed. I can't wait to see when they're going to reveal that. And I wonder if she's going to uh, reveal herself and be good or when they do reveal uh, who she actually is, will she be bad by that time? And pretty much the last thing, last but not least, uh, would be Clarence, who is in Iron Heights. And uh, then... All you hear is Dr. Alchemy's voice, and he's like, you failed. Um, man, you failed. Sounds so much like you failed this city. But it's not. You failed me. He failed Dr. Alchemy. And then uh, he's begging. He's like, give me one more chance. I can do this. I can do this. And then all you see is, like, he's up against the wall. And all you see is some, like, arm just reach out of nowhere and grab him. You really couldn't see much, but it looked like a metal arm. I mean, I know it's not cyborg, but is it cyborg? No, it's not cyborg. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, but definitely look forward to the next episode and finding out 
uh, what happens to Clarence, aka the rival. But um, this has been a review of The Flash, Season 3, Episode 2, Paradox. And if you enjoyed the review, you know, hit that like button. Uh, if you like my reviews or want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Have anything to say? Maybe you know more. Maybe you know about uh, Dr. Alchemy and you can, you know, spread some knowledge on my ignorance. Then comment down below. Until then, I will see you all later. Deuces. Kamehameha.